My name is Skylar Kingstrang. I reside in East Anchorage. During the Arts Commission meeting last week, I heard alarming statements made by both Representative for the Administration, Lindsay Causer, as well as Municipal Manager, Amy Domboski. I'd like to address the issues I have bit by bit. First, Kauser, when asked about funding for the mayor's arts grant, reduced down from $100,000 to $65,000, said, quote, there was an amount that was approved by the assembly. Once we looked at the amount that was approved and compared it to the actual funding that we have, we realized that the amount that was approved muni-wide, not only with grants, didn't match the actual amount of money that we had in the muni. She continued, the mayor is concerned with the rising property tax. Everybody that's property taxes that have been going up, and so he is keeping a very close eye on our budget and trying to see where we can lower the budget in order to help with those property taxes and bring those down. So after taking this into consideration and talking to our accounting department and to everyone else, they decided that $65,000 would go towards arts. This was alarming to me because the mayor cannot unilaterally overturn budget decisions agreed upon by the assembly. He can choose to veto, but in the event of a veto override, the assembly's decision stands. Secondly, this line of explanation from Kauser implies that the mayor sees the arts community as an opponent to property owners of Anchorage, a division I do not feel confident actually exists. Amy Domboski during the meeting reminded the commission that the mayor's arts grant is a, quote, competitively bid program. She also told them that, quote, while it's nice that boards and commissions weigh in with recommendation, there's no requirement nor, frankly, would it be appropriate for the mayor to cede his authority. It's not really the role of the Arts Advisory Commission to dictate what those changes can or should be. If it is not the role of the Advisory Commission to recommend how items in their purview should be changed, then what is the purpose of an Advisory Commission? Upon investigation, I found that the approved budget has 13 instances of the administration citing Municipal Code 6.30.050 in order to strike approved amendments to the proposed budgets. All of these items were vetoed and then overridden by the Assembly during public sessions. Cited code refers to the CFO needing to approve expenditures, not to revenue streams, which begs the question, why was this code cited in the striking of the increased room tax approved by the Assembly? Further, if our municipality is so broke that they cannot afford the missing $35,000 in arts grant funding, why was it able to increase the salaries of Amy Domboski's municipal manager office from $334,808 in 2021 to $707,876 in 2022, an increase of $111.43%? Uh, For the public knowledge, other items that were stricken from the approved budget unilaterally by the administration include funding for electrical, mechanical, plumbing, and structural inspectors, funding of school resource officers, increasing the Girdwood Emergency Medical Services contract, funding to the Mobile Crisis Team Program, increased evidence-based grants to providers for child abuse, sexual assault, and domestic violence prevention programs, early education grants, and the utilization of unspent funds from the 2021 budget. Thank you.